Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Chemical Engineering Gate 2021 Chemical Reaction Engineering Questions with Solution. Gate 2021 Question Paper and Answer Key link is available in my description box. You can download it. Question number 10. Ethylene adsorb on the vacant active site V of a transition metal catalyst according to the following mechanism C2H4 plus 2V gives C2H4 this is vacant site ok so here NT, NV and NC2H4 denote the total number of active site number of vacant active site and number of adsorbed ethylene molecule the balance on the total number of active site is given by we have four option so answer for this question is nt is equal to nv plus 2 into nc2 h4 nt is the total number of active site na? nv is the number of vacant active site so here nc2 h4 is the number of adsorbed c2 h4 molecule is a 2 that's why nt is equal to nv plus 2 times of c2 h4 this is the answer for this question okay so the question number 24 the following homogeneous liquid phase reactions are at equilibrium so the first reaction forward reaction and backward reaction so here a gives b forward reaction rate constant is a k1 backward reaction is a k minus 1 so here uh, b to c forward reaction is a k2 backward reaction is a k minus 2 here a gives c forward reaction is a uh, yeah this is a forward reaction na? here c2a am i correct so yeah c2a k3 then backward reaction uh, a2c k minus 3 the value of rate constants are given by k1 is equal to 0 0.1 second power minus 1 k minus 1 that is a backward reaction na? 0 0.2 second power minus 1 k2 1 second power minus 1 k minus 2 10 second power minus 1 so k3 10 second power minus 1 the value of rate constant k minus 3 is uh, second power minus 1 so objective of this question we are going to determine the uh, value of rate constant k minus 3 in second power minus 1 after calculating the k minus 3 value in second power minus 1 uh, we have to round up the result to one decimal place data so we have three equation one is a gives b b gives c c gives a so here the k1 is a forward reaction k minus 1 is a backward reaction rate constant uh, here bqc forward reaction is a k2 backward reaction is a k minus 2 here uh, forward reaction is a uh, c2a k3 backward reaction is a a2c k minus 3 so here k1 0.1 second power minus 1 k minus 1 0.2 second power minus 1 k2 1 second power minus 1 k minus 2 10 second power minus 1 k3 10 second power minus 1 so k what is a k minus 3 that is our objective value of rate constant k minus 3 second power minus 1 so here solution part the first reaction a gives b forward reaction is a a gives b backward reaction is a b gives a so here for a forward reaction rate constant k1 backward reaction rate constant k minus 1 what is the rate of reaction here minus r is equal to k1 c a minus k1 k minus 1 c b this is reaction number 1 so second reaction that is b gives c or c gives b uh, b gives c is a forward reaction that is k2 rate constant c gives b rate constant k minus 2 what is the rate of reaction here minus r b is equal to k2 c b minus k minus 2 c c this is second equation so next reaction c2 a this is forward reaction is a k3 backward reaction is a k minus 3 so the rate of reaction minus r c is equal to k3 into c c minus k minus 3 into c a so here uh, this is the uh, third equation at equilibrium condition minus r a minus r b minus r c equal to 0 from equation 1 2 and 3 
k1 ca minus k minus 1 cb equal to 0 why because at the equilibrium condition minus r is equal to 0 na so this value equal to 0 from this k1 c is equal to k minus 1 cb so ca by cb is equal to k minus 1 divided by k1 that is equation number 4 so here the second equation k2 cb minus k minus 2 cc equal to 0 so in this case k2 cb is equal to k minus 2 cc cb by cc is equal to k minus 2 uh, divided by k2 this is equation number 5 so here k3 cc minus k minus 3 c is equal to 0 so from this cc by c is equal to k minus 3 by k3 this is equation number 6 so now we have 4 5 and 6 now multiply 4 5 and 6th expression ca by cb cb by cc and cc by ca so here ca ca's are cancelled so cb cb's are cancelled then cc cc's are cancelled so on the right hand side k minus 1 by k1 k minus 2 by k2 k minus 3 by k3 so here left hand side 1 is equal to right hand side we know all this value unknown is a k minus 3 substitute all known values find out the unknown value k minus 3 so from this k minus 3 is equal to 0 0.5 answer for this question is 0 0.5 that is k minus 3 this is backward reaction rate constant are you clear okay so for further related videos you can like share and subscribe my channel thank you